thing. What's up, anyone watching? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our final faction little hybrid project. We're going to use the uh, five class brute, Karn, the uh, medicine head. I'm going to try to make it look like a uh, some kind of a synthetic armor instead of this alien. We made a little little workload out of the bones of another uh, skeleton dinosaur. Just cut all the bones off. So it looks like bones. I took one of the final faction accessories. It's like some kind of a grappling, grappling hook. So I chopped it all up, used some uh, styrene tubing. Filled some holes, connected it all, I'll wrap it up with some uh, floral wire that looks like it's all made. I get it all glued up on the hat. It's good to go. Got a little plasma gun. Yeah, the variety pack, the fact, final faction I ordered. It didn't come with any uh, Karn weapons or anything. accessory packs. We got a ton of the uh, Alpha Team accessory pack. Put them in for these guys. Just the weapons that come with. So, some stuff to plug into this back here. Let's get these guys head to tell. Uh, Styrene, little tubing pieces, little pegs for the uh, dinosaur parts that I cut off, sending the tail down a little bit, make a little smoother surface. Use some uh, air dry clay, fill in these gaps, make it look more like he's in a suit instead of just a body. Give him a little armor tail. Gotta glue this all together. Use his little, his little club. Figure out, put something back here maybe. Need some kind of weapon in this back. It's like the suit. Makes sense. Put his little skulls here. Maybe some kind of armor piece. Here and make some, make a little armor piece back here in the back. Let me get off, some, make the segments. Lock it out, some oil, some air drag for it. Here. First time using this stuff. Some DOS air dry clay from Italy. The old pasta maker. Some nice even pieces. Just uh, using the clay to bulk out this uh, piece of foil, so it's just not a good hunk of clay that I can get a 
good shape as I was moving the clay around. I was changing the shape of the foil. So I ended up mushing all the work I was doing and it just didn't work. Yeah. Too much for me. Using the scraper tool to blend it into the uh, sculpt figure. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. I've never used this clay before. If it'll stick to this plastic or not. Hopefully it does. Just use the scraper tools to fill in the holes, great edges. I'm trying to make it look segmented. Once we add water, it just all kinds of blends together to keep it smooth and wet. So it might be going back to the milliput. I'm using the shaper tool, I'm trying to create little edges because when I use the water on the clay to keep it flexible, I keep losing my detail. So I'm going in with the shaper tool, trying to keep that edge, trying to make it segmented, not lumpy. Sculpting a little uh, tail piece. I think it looks pretty good. Came out okay. Now I'm making some little spikes, some uh, protrusions to come out of his back to kind of match his body. Just random spots. I place them, adding them details. Using a ball stylus here, get little details. Once again, I'm trying to match the uh, skin, sort of. <laughs> There's not very many divots on the sculpt, but I don't know, I'm just kind of winging it. Turned out all right. Said never used this clay before, so I don't know what the cure time is. Box is in French, so it'll really give you an estimated time. I don't want to overdo it, but it's pretty good. Hmm. What do we do here? I do have this guy, the spare pieces, the skeleton of the dinosaur I cut up, the head for this guy, and so there's the carn. Head. I stuck on here, so it look like maybe we can uh, turn this guy into something. Put this extra clay right here. All right, so that extra clay I had made this little guy. I was thinking maybe use some of the, the Alpha Team accessory packs, armor packs, whatever you want to call it. Make this guy some little machine guns, maybe. That pack I wasn't able to use in the last build. I can use on this one. Give him a little turn. Put that gear on his tail. Thing is, do I should I paint this first or paint these first? Then I can just attach them after I finish this. I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be his little his little sidekick. Let's cut this back piece off. Making little pilot holes once again so the drill don't slip everywhere, which pretty much always does anyways, but. Hmm. I've cut this part off. Yeah, so 
basically match and what the what these little saw pieces are. It's pretty hard. I don't know if I have to cut that with this. Nope. Yeah, I have to use the dermal for this one. Yeah, it's pretty good. Sand that down a little bit. Didn't really seem to cut it, I just kind of <laughs> melted it. Yeah, I'm a little iffy about these metal bits I'm breaking. I want that thing falling off. Make it a mess. Just a styrene. The cool thing about styrene, you can give it a score with a blade and it just snaps right off for a perfect little even pieces. Chilled the wrong side. That was no point to make them look the same. Alright, I'm gonna chill that other side. Messed that up pretty bad. <laughs> oh well. Alright, I think I'm gonna use some milk for this round. That uh, air dry clay is super messy. I mean, it gets on everything. I was probably using way too much water, but I'm not a very fast sculptor, so it dried out real quick. So I had to use water and it just kept building and building. This is a lot easier to work with. I would use some uh, Sculpey clay, but you can't put these in the oven because they will melt. So uh, I'll definitely be doing something with Sculpey in the future. <laughs> Equal parts here. Some mix. We're gonna give him another piece on his neck. Get this guy blended in. glue together. Kind of. Got his little turrets glued up. Going to fill in these little spaces here. Got to do his eyes. That's what I forgot to do. Going to use some more milliput. Kind of build out his eyes a little bit, some more uh, character in him. So it's just little black dots for eyes. Gonna use these cabochons instead of painting them first on the other side so they reflect. I think I'm gonna try to just paint the fronts after I put them on and just put some uh, some varnish on it to seal that paint. See if that works any better. Since they're so small, a little bit of paint I put on the back of this it just magnifies it. So you can't really see what it is. So I'm gonna try to paint the front. While I was editing part of this video, I was just randomly gluing things onto this guy. <laughs> Bunch of spare pieces from that uh, skeleton dinosaur that I used for this guy for his little war club. I glued him a new tail, a little, guess you can just like some armor piece, just to add to the style of it. Like this is all just thrown together and put on top of him. I used some floral wire. I twisted three strands, filled in these little gaps here to where it looks like, you know, just wires going into this pack and the little back pieces from the turret guns, the mini guns. 
the little handles I cut off, I just glued it into the sides. Some kind of function. Like maybe that's where you load the weapon into the uh, guns. So uh, let's get this built up. Rolling out some strings of clay here. Uh, just uh, building up the eyes for the cabochon, build up around it to where they're not just flat. I'm trying to build it to where it's sticking out a little bit, a little more form. Since that back piece is so big, it makes his head look super tiny. So I'm just trying to build that up, making sure I leave enough room, trying to get some kind of detail in that eye when I paint it. Using the scraper tool, blending in the uh, millipud epoxy putty, I'm trying to create a shape that actually looks like eyelids, like for a reptile, and it's starting to dry already. It's getting stuck to my uh, tips of my tool, which makes it pretty hard to work with. It's kind of frustrating, but I'm new to it, so I'm learning. Once again, using the shaper tool, smoothing out a little, all the little dried up little pieces, trying to blend them back into the sculpt. It also adds little details, little lines that kind of match the texture of the sculpt of the dinosaur head. I like this tool. It's pretty good for blending and a uh, little detailing. Pretty much done with the eyes. I think it turned out all right. Once you get some primer on it, it all becomes one thing. Sculpting some uh, little spikes for the top of the head. Just trying to make him look more menacing. Give him a little venom tongue adding some little spikes for uh, just adding more character. This video is taking a lot longer because I keep adding and adding more things. I just can't stop, especially with his little sidekick I'm making. I just keep adding and adding, making for a longer, longer video, but it's fine. Hopefully it all turns out worthwhile. dry. Maybe a little sanding. These little rough spots. They don't break off. <laughs> Paint his eyes. Give him a nice little uh, primer. I'll start painting this guy. Still waiting on this guy to dry. Prime this guy too. hate wasting this millipod. Still got quite a bit. So I decided on this uh, to use the rest of this millipod just to fill in little details on this guy to make it look like more a part of him instead of just sitting on his, sitting on his back. Make little wires, like little gearbox looking things. Just make it look all one thing. This took a while. I also used a uh, floral wire that I twisted into little strands to make it look like some kind of wiring. That just glued all over the sides and the little back piece. And once again, I just kept adding and adding things. It kept, it just looked incomplete. So I just kept adding things to where I was satisfied that it was finally done. Hopefully it looks okay when I get some paint on it. I'm trying to get in those little details, make it look like something. Okay, we're gonna try the airbrush again. Mixed up some black paint, a little bit of rubbing alcohol to thin the paint. I already uh, primed the figure with black primer. I should have used the gray primer so I can see the base coat go on with this black. Remember that for the next time. Deciding to test the uh, stream of the airbrush. <laughs> Every little bit of practice helps, I guess. But yeah, I'm not very good with this technique at all. 
Hopefully I get better. Here I'm using uh, some color shift paint from uh, Folk Art or the uh, body of the uh, Karn figure and his little sidekick that took me forever to finish because I kept adding more and more little details. I'm painting his little sidekick the same color like it look like it's from the same technology as his uh, suit some kind of synthetic alien armor i really like this color shift paint it turns out really good i thought using another color shift paint this one is called aqua flash i thought this would look good for some high points so it's not just all one solid color Now we're gonna start painting the head and the tail. I wanted to do a more natural color, like a, some browns, like contrast to the to that color shift paint. But I have to say now, it did not turn out very good. <laughs> Stay tuned. Using some gray for the back piece for the turret guns and a little pack on his back, little wires I put on. Using some uh, white paint, paint the little skull, I guess it's a stegosaurus. Not sure, separate from the uh, what's metal and what's not. Here's the uh, the brown base coat. Still not sure what colors to use. I probably need to start using some kind of stencil for uh, the details for the skin. This guy's almost done. Need to add some washes to that skull so it's not just white. I want it to look dirty, like it's was just thrown on as uh, armor for the uh, to protect the guns. Here's his little his little club I made from scratch pieces of bone, wire, and uh, one of the final faction uh, weapons. This little turret gun for his tail. Here's the brown washes for the uh, bone pieces, or what? It's supposed to look like bone. Thought it turned out all right. Could be better, but. I'm pretty new at painting as well. <laughs> pretty much it. All of this is going to be new stuff to me for quite a while. So back to uh, what I said before. This first run of paint did not go well. I was trying to go with uh, light passes with uh, the dry brush with some yellow. I was just trying to hit the high spots and then go into another color and try to do the same thing, try to get a blend of a few different colors. And it just came out of just a mush of color. You can see how muddy this paint is, especially on camera. It's just, that's supposed to be yellow doesn't look yellow. The red looks orange. These colors just aren't showing up very well. So I end up redoing it. All right, got this guy all masked up. I'm gonna repaint his head and tail. I mean, this just looks so bad. Like I said before, I needed some kind of stencil so I can get this look right. Like for some little stripings or something. The tail is kind of decent but that head I struggle so hard with it so I'm gonna go in with some airbrush actual airbrush paint and try to fix it you can do it using some uh, 
uh, airbrush yellow. It's super bright. Can't really see it on camera, but it dries really bright. It dries pretty clean too. I don't know if it's because all the under layers that this color finally starts showing up or it's just the good paint itself. Maybe I'm just using bad paint. Cheap paint may not be good paint. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this, this coat turns out all right. And it gets a little bit better from here. Actually looks better, way better than it did first time around. Still don't really like it, but uh, gotta move on. Just hope I get better with the technique of painting or why else do this, you know? <laughs> learning process so if you can tell I did some painting <laughs> I didn't film this part I felt like the camera was distracting me too much trying to keep it in frame and looking at the camera looking back at what I'm doing checking the camera going back and forth I just really needed to try to focus on it but as you can see it's a lot brighter you can actually see the color now I finally removing the clay over the eyes once again didn't turn out very well but at this point, I was pretty much done. Spent so much time trying to paint it <laughs> to something I like, somewhat like. It still looks like Darth Maul, but I was trying to make him look like a viper, a like a snake color, like the red and yellow and black. That's as good as I can do it for now. So I just settled with it, doing little touch-ups. Also off camera, I uh, brushed on some uh, glossy varnish on the uh, Karn figure. And I'm hitting the other guy with the uh, matte varnish. I also used the varnish on the tongue and the eyeballs just to seal everything in. Used another color shift for his gun, yellow version. All right, removing the masking, do a little cleanup. I used, it, uh, I used the airbrush cleaner on a Q-tip to get rid of some of the paint around the neck where it bled through the tape. It worked pretty good. It didn't uh, hurt the uh, varnish much. And there it is. Finally finished. It took a week longer than I wanted it to. I thought I could do this other guy with the same amount of time, but I couldn't. But overall, as a beginner, it turned out all right. Like and subscribe for more content like this. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.